hello friends good evening today i am going to present a unique business case where a company is into service business and they are going to charge their customer based on service and with that service they have to deliver some physical goods but they cannot sell or they don't want to sell that you know physical goods inside a sales order neither they don't uh, you know they do not wish to bill to the customer in invoice customer invoice but they do wish to register their cost of goods so how we can make it possible so i am on a fresh database where i have configured the regular inventories account stock received but not built stock delivered but not invoice kind of thing and stock cogs account as well as i have created one more account under my cost of revenue account yes. stock direct cogs which i want to register now inside my product category i will register regular you know business uh, with my you know average posting then automated and this is my standard thing and uh, another category where i will i would like to make it direct cogs again with average posting automated and maybe this would go to stock direct cogs okay so this is my standard configuration i would like to do under that i will register product which is a physical product okay like direct pro one is my product name which is under direct cogs my post is 10 selling price is 20 and then i will have you know only pro one which is part of my regular business where my cost is 100 selling is 200 and then in my inventory i would also like to bring on some you know service type product so special services which i will sell only as a part of service under that I will create project and task directly it is on hourly basis maybe 100 is my costing 500 is my selling price which i can do on regular business and just to make you know uh, regular local sales and stock cogs kind of thing okay now uh, what i will do is I would also like to bring some customization using studio because inside my project it will create some tasks so let me just try to sell something to my customer customer i am selling special services worth 10 hours as soon as i confirm it will create a unique project and task okay so this is my project and task perfect so now what i would like to do is i would like to customize uh, somewhere on this form where i would like to you know use studio so inside my special service task i would like to use studio and over here i would like to bring a new tab which says products deliver okay i am creating a new thing a new you know tape from my studio and then what i would like to do is i would like to create a kind of a relationship table with my maybe stock stop move precisely yes stop move i would like to bring my stop move over here 
okay so now it will show me the stop moves which i would like to bring here but here what i would like to do is i would like to precisely bring some specific stop move which are meant for direct delivery so over here what i will do is i will create a new operation type maybe direct delivery type of operation is delivery only sequence is dd okay sequence prefix will be dd and i will create this direct delivery as an operations inside my warehouse let me enable maybe route that can help So this is my configuration I'm building uh, over here where my operation types have been defined direct delivery okay from stock to customers and inside my this document what I would like to bring is I would like to create a new filter operation type is equal to only direct delivery which i would like to use always and i would like to save this filter so it will always show me only direct deliveries now inside this special services i would like to deliver some products which are not part of my sales order so let me go to my sales order again which is sales order number three where my same special service project is there and another that special service task is there okay inside that i have created this customization now if i want to deliver anything i will make over here and then it will create a delivery which is my regular delivery okay so if i have positive inventory for part number one let me build maybe 10 units so it is made available so as soon as i make check availability and validate this move and if i see my general ledger so for this part one i don't have any accounting set that's why it is coming in but i have created two products like pro one which is my regular product so it is again creating delivery for pro one so as soon as i hit pro one and update my own hand quantity which is value at then in pro one when i hit this it will create a general entry with inventories as stock adjustment per thousand because hundred rupees each is my product value and then inside my sales order i have a delivery generated which i say check availability and validate so with pro one it is going to generate a stock deliver but not invoice you know kind of move okay and as soon as i create my customer invoice it will pass my stock cogs so this is what it is doing in regular transactions which is normal for all the business but with this you know i have some goods which is my pro 2 product if you do remember it's coming from the different category direct pro 2 now i will make a twist over here i don't want to uh, you know definitely i want to register its uh, uh, you know stock inwards let's say 10 units and in my general ledger you can see inventory has been you know debited with 100 because direct pro 1 has a valuation but i don't want to uh, uh, you know consider this product in my invoices and i want to register my you know direct uh, cogs also so let's say with the same way 
if I go to my sales order number three and if I product uh, add this product and deliver that product it will register my COGS but I don't want to do that so what I will do is I will go to product category and make a twist over here inside my direct COGS so I will register stock output account and I am going to change it to direct COGS because I don't want this product to come into anywhere in the billing neither in my sales order okay and still I don't I wish to register my COGS so what I will do is I will go to my inventory and create a direct delivery orders so I will go here maybe I will check my sales order number as a reference like SO3 and customer one for whom I would like to create a direct delivery thing this is just for a reference I am giving and I will use direct product two units to be delivered so I will say mark as to do and then I will validate this so it will register my valuation like this and inside my journal entry it will show inventory to direct COGS so now in my sales order I will not see that product anywhere in sales order 3 which is part of my deliverables and I want to connect inside my task so over here I will go and I will simply select this as my transaction so I will recognize this direct pro 1 has been you know delivered under special services to customer without having any you know invoice effect so inside my invoice I will not have part one and uh, that you know direct pro one product it is only consisting part one and pro one All right so it will register my indirect COGS so now if I go to my general ledger what I will see is it will register my direct COGS okay not from this so this is solve my problem and inside my profit and loss I will see my cost of revenue will be registered with accuracy without incurring my regular sales order item and regular delivery but I have made a direct delivery and connect with my you know task which is a part of my order so hence I can generate my neat and clean profit and loss report with all the regular stock cost of goods and in direct you know stock cost of goods and here I have make a twist only with my inventory where I have created a direct delivery you know orders and then for this I have connected inside my project and inside my task a separate you know products to deliver so now here it will give me all the details which is required for any business who are doing business with service with regular deliveries and some indirect deliveries which is not part of their sales order not the invoice but we do wish to register cost of goods for our business hope this will help many business who are into service and want to make some intelligent tweaks like this it can help with default to do with a studio customization and a trick uh, to change my configuration product category thank you very much guys